Welcome back to C++ tutorial on Tute Fulcrum. This session is on bitwise shift operators in C++. There are two shift operators in C++ programming, right shift operator and left shift operator. Let's begin with right shift operator. The right shift operator shifts all bits towards the right by a certain number of specified bits. For example, x right shifted by 2 indicates that the operand x will be shifted 2 bits to right. Let's take an example and understand this. So let's take x right shift by 2 bits. And let's take our x to be 6. So these are bitwise operators. So they are going to manipulate on each and every bit of the operand. So we need to consider our operand in binary form. So 6 in binary form is represented as 0, 1, 1, 0. So let's take this as an 8 bit. So I can represent 6 as 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So let's start shifting our data. We will start from the MSP and first we will shift by one bit position. So this 0 will be shifted here, this one here. So every bit will be shifted to right by first one position. So you can see a vacant bit position here. So that will be padded with 0. And you can see this least significant bit will be discarded. That is when we shift any number to the right, the least significant bits are discarded while the most significant bits are replaced by zeros. So this we will again shift one position to the right because our requirement is to shift x by 2 bit position to the right. So again, we will start from the MSP. So start shifting. So the least significant bit will be discarded and the vacant bit position will be padded with 0. So this is our output. So this is shifted to position. So what is our output? 1. So when you shifted 6 by 1 position, your output was 3. So this is our input. It is 6. So take a close look at these numbers 6, 3 and 1. Can you draw any relationship between them? We can say that right shift operation is equivalent to division by 2. That is, our input was 6. When you shifted it by one position, we got the output as 3. That is, I can say 6 divided by 2, I got 3. Again, when you shifted it by two position, you got the output as 1. So that is equivalent to doing 6 divided by 2 to the power of 2 that is you will get it as 1. So if you take another example if our input was 8 when you shift this 8 towards right by one bit position you will get 8 divided by 2 that is 4. If you were shifting towards the right by two bit position you will get 8 divided by 2 to the power of 2. That is 8 divided by 4. You will get it as 2, etc. So let's write a program and verify this. So let's take an integer variable to hold the data. So let's take A as uh, the variable and uh, let me initialize it with the value 6. So let's use a variable result to store the result of operation when you shift A towards the right by 
two bits. So a right shift by two. Let's use a cout statement to print the result and verify our output. So result. Let's build and verify our program. So as seen with the example, the expected output is 1. Let's check. Yes, as expected, our result is 1. So let's see one more example. Instead of 6, let's take the input data as 8. So when you shift 8 to the right by 2-bit position, what is the expected output? 8 divided by 2 to the power of 2 that is 8 divided by 4 you are expected to get 2 let's check so our output is as expected it is printing 2 so this is right shift operation in C++ the left shift operation takes two numbers left shifts the bits of the first operand the second operand decides the number of places to shift. For example, x left shift 2 shifts the data x towards the left by 2 bit position. Let's take an example to understand this. So we have x which is required to be shifted towards the left by 2 bit position. So let's take our x as 2. So 2 in binary form is 0, 1, 0. So let's take it as 8 bit as we have done with the right shift operation. So in left shifting, we will start from the LSB bit and start shifting towards the left. So first we will shift by 1 bit. So this will be shifted here. You have 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So as you can see, this is a vacant position. This will be padded with 0 and here the MSB will be discarded. So this is what you get when you shift left by 1 bit. So our requirement is to shift it by 2 bit position. So we will shift this again by 1 bit. So vacant position is padded with 0 and MSB is discarded. So this will be your output if you shift the data left by 2 bit position. So what was our input? Our input was 2. When you shifted it towards the left by 1 bit, you got the output as 4. Again, when you shifted it by 2 bit position, you got the output as 8. So what is the relation between these numbers that you can make out? That is, you can say that Left shift operation is equivalent to multiplying the operand by 2. That is, our input was 2. This was our input. When you shifted by 1 bit position, your output was 4. So, 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. You got the output as 4. This is shifting towards the left by 1 bit position. So, you multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. Again, if you were shifting to towards the left by 2 bit position, you will have to multiply by 2 to the power of 2. So 2 into 2 to the power of 2, you got the output as 8. So left shifting is equivalent to multiplying the data by 2 to the power of the number of bit position that you are going to shift the data. Let's write a code and verify this. So let's take an integer x to hold the data. So let our input be 2. Let me use a variable to hold the result of operation. And let's compute like x left shift by 2 bit position. 
will use a cout statement to print the output so result So what is the expected output here? Our input is 2. We are shifting that towards the left by 2 bit position. So 2 into 2 to the power of 2. So 2 into 4. Our expected output is 8. Let's build and run the program. Yes. So we got the output as 8. Uh, suppose if you are shifting x by 3 bit position. What will be your output? It will be 2 into 2 to the power of 3. That is 2 into 8. We are expected to get an output 16. Let's verify this. Yes, the output is 16. So this is left shifting operation in C++. Note that the left shift and right shift operators should not be used for negative numbers. If any of the operands is a negative number, it results in undefined behavior. Also, if the number is shifted more than the size of integer, then the behavior is undefined. For example, 1 left shifted by 33 is undefined if integers are stored using 32 bits. You use bitwise operations a lot if you are doing low level programming on embedded systems. Usually bitwise operations are faster than doing multiply or divide. For example, if you need to multiply a variable x by say 9, you could do it like x left shift to 3 plus x which would be a few cycles faster than computing x into 9. So if this code is inside an interrupt service routine, you will save on response time. So there are few more bitwise operators available in C++, which we will see in the coming sessions. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like share, comment and subscribe and please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You will get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you.